So, it's here. The camper van in rust. And I think they've done a pretty good job. It looks, uh, it looks like an old 1970s uh, caravan that's been had the front chopped off it and uh, butchered onto a chassis with an old uh, cab. Although you can change this cab to the other ones uh, in rust, of course. If I show you here on the modules, you can see the camper van is two modules, uh, or it takes up a two module space. So this is a three module uh, chassis I have here, which I personally think uh, is one of the ones that looks the best with the camper van. Um, so you just drop that in there, um, and away you go. I mean, you can just drive it in the normal way, uh, but if you go in, you can uh, mount it from uh, either side. But it's got the door. I mean, it does look good. They've done a real, uh, real good job. It looks the part. Um, and in here, press X to change around. It's quite cosy. You can't get up and run around, uh, which is a bit of a shame, but it's, it's still functional. There's 50% comfort straight away as soon as you're in here. You've got a barbecue that you can cook your, uh, your favorite uh, foods in. So that's all good. Um, there's actually four beds, although you can only see two. So all you'd need to do, literally, just look down by your feet, and you can make bed. And you're claiming that bag. And uh, let's say I call this bed one. Change name. If I press X and I look down and do the same, you can see this one's got is unnamed bed two, etc., uh, etc. Et and you've got four of those. So. Uh, yeah, that can seat uh, four people, pretty good. Um, you've also got a bit of storage down here, conventional um, like stash to put stuff in, uh, which is good. And you've also got just above your head here, these little storage lockers, which act exactly the same as a um, locker, uh, as if you were in the base. So that that's all good too. Um, I mean, what's good about these, obviously, is you can just drive them around uh, so, unfortunately, it's a bit of a misty day, but may wait for that to uh, get sunny. I'll see. Um, but yeah, let's take it out for a drive, and uh, we'll see what uh, what it can do. And I've got a standard, uh, say, engine module um, here with. Um, medium car parts in it which are fairly easy to craft um, it is a uh, just to touch uh, on the crafting of this it is a tier 2 bench part and you can see that I've gone all the way down here and it is here um, obviously it's quite a lot of scrap to get down here it itself isn't that much scrap I think it's about 100 scrap 125 scrap to learn but you have to get down there to do it so I think it will add a lot of utility to vehicles because I think vehicles are a bit underused at the moment because they are a little bit uh, of messing around to get everything prepped to use them um, but there's a lot of car parts now you find in crates uh, and all that kind of thing and this will allow you to travel across the map and just stay in it uh, for a night time um, or if you're gonna hit the dome or a monument you can come back and put some of the stuff in there uh, this itself has got a strength of 525 so um, yeah I mean it's it's not super weak it's not super strong either but it, I think it gives it quite a good uh, a good lot of use so without further ado let's take it out for a drive Okay, let's take it for a spin. Obviously it drives like any other car. But you can see behind. Look in there, it just, it just seems good. Right, I'm gonna take a little drive, let's see where we can go. What's up here? Uh, I'm gonna go to Oxim's gas station. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go to the, the airfield. Let's make a bit of a journey of it. Ah. Oh. oh 
idea. That's never good to do on a camping trip. Although we should go and get it for the meat. Yeah, that is a waste. We're all about the uh, all about the environment being being campers. Where are you? There you go. Oops, should have put the handbrake on that. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. I'm saying sorry to. Right, let's cut this up. Let's forget the airfield. Let's just look for a nice camping spot. We're going to be eating well tonight. Okay, let's hope we haven't scratched this up too badly. More free stuff. Look at that. It's, it's just the, the gift that keeps on giving. That is well parked. No, no, no. Pro, right? Alright, let's get this thing fired up. Get out of this ditch. How much meat we get out of that? Mm -mm. 20, right, okay. This is actually a. Uh, uh, I think it's a five time staging server. So, yeah, that's the other thing, obviously. Uh, it's not quite live yet. Uh, I think it's on the next, uh, it's definitely on the next false wipe, unless they pull it for some reason, but that's in about seven days' time. So let's have a look. We've got a nice green area. Where are we? We're hitting desert here. Whoa, what are you doing? There we go, good. I don't really like camping in the desert, if I'm honest. Uh, there we go. Right, quick proper check of the map. Now that looks green over there, but it is a bit off road. Do you know what? I'm going to go right down this little trail, L15, near the large barn. Put that on fuel. I have to put a bit more in that. Got some on me, I think. Yeah. You can actually put fuel in this thing by sitting inside right at this T-junction. Uh, that was wrong. But hey, what's going camping if you don't get lost? We've got lights. Let's get some lights. Okay. The wrong time to go camping. It's foggy, it's raining. But at least it's realistic. The UK for the UK listeners anyway. Oh, now, I am amazing map reading. Let's see, right? Where was that nice little area we saw? Down there. there we go. You know what? This is, this is this is beautiful. Build a nice flat. Oh, look at this. I didn't bring any chairs with me. That's fine. Right, we'll just pitch this up here. That we get. It's a beautiful thing. There you go. What more could you want? Beautiful. There. How relaxing is this? Better with a chair, right? Damn. Right, that's enough of that. That was a fun holiday. Let's see if we can get this thing all back. We can keep the barbecue. We're getting out of here. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't think I 
to leave the barbecue on in the back while you're driving. I guess you can. Ah, actually, fuel. Fuel storage is in the back here. Down to 81. We're still rolling. No, we're not. This thing's good. I like to use this on a proper work. Okay, so let's get this. Let's go cross country and get this thing home. More road kill. How far are we come? Oops, I'm over here somewhere. Probably not the best thing to do with a camper van. Must admit, definitely, uh, oh, I was just going to say, definitely performs a lot better with those mid-engine parts. Not bad with the basic free ones you find. Does the job. Oh, this is going to need a, this is going to need a jet wash when I get this back. Uh, sweet pothole there. I don't think I'm going to get over this. <laughs> ah. Oh dear. Can we get on this? Come on. Put it on the floor. We got this. Go on, go on. Here we go. Sun's going down. Barbecue's still burning. It's getting a bit hot in here. Need a road. It's. Do you know what? It's not a four by four. It's a. It's a camper van. And to be fair, it's holding its own. Oh! I didn't like that. The road just here somewhere. Oh! I'm not busting up a, too badly. Just got to this road. Come on. Oh! Uh, uh. I'm not going to get out of that. Where is that road? Oh, that's so close. Let's buy this. Well, there we go, we've got the trail. Yeah! Sunset. Feels like it's setting in here with a barbecue still going behind me. Right, if I stay on this road, yeah, I should drive right past my Gary. There we go. Slow this thing down. We check out our damage. Sorry. Sorry, camp then. Okay, on the ramps, because you definitely need to be there. Lovely. Sun going down. Door shut. Lights on. Let's see what we got. Still in one piece. Actually, considering the damage, I'll put that through. That was that was lasting well. So there you have it. Camper van now on staging. 
Um, going to be live in about seven, seven or eight days. I think it's going to be a good thing. Um, the stuff they're constantly adding to this game is always quite astounding considering doing it every four weeks. There's a host of other uh, uh, bits and bobs being added this wipe, uh, quality of life and stuff like that, which um, I'm sure lots of other people have covered. Thanks for uh, popping in, and I'll see you in the next one.